Let's look at the most important things here. Histogram scopes in grading case. Wheels numeric display. Quick preview mode and graphical elements choose. This is Fumora 13.2, the newest update right now. And there's a lot for you to learn. Let's find out. Hello, my dear friends, Alex here from Alex Edits. Because graphical elements are very important in this industry of editing, we gotta hit that spot first. Just think of it, taking only a few seconds to animate this Fumora circle right here. How about even creating it in the first place? It can be on top of a sample color or on a blank screen. Select this option right here which is the drawing tool. And here you can choose on these shapes right here depending on what type of an element that you would like to create. For this very short example my dear friends, let me choose the ellipse. Pressing the right selection on your mouse you can actually draw something here. And now on the right side of the preview screen you can actually see the properties menu here to let you customize your element. Like right here you can transform the scale, position, rotation, the fill, the border and so forth. And after you have done that my dear friend the next thing is to add some keyframes right here to set your element in motion. Just like I have done right here and you are going to have a lot of fun. Now the very next one right here my dear friend is the graphical tonal range representation in color grading caves. This actually saves as a histogram. It shows you the actual value or amount of RGB in such a way that you can actually see how much are highlights in R in the midtones and the same as the shadows in the highlights. And when you are going to make some changes right here, this histogram is going to show it out in real time. When you use the selector to pick up a particular point right here, you will see the numeric values of the RGB as well as the HSL. And this brings us to the next update which is the numeric values on color wheels. And just as I have said on the case, the numeric values are going to save you the same on the color wheels. We got red, green, blue and the overall exposure bar which is the Y. And now again when you shift it around like this the numeric values are going to show in real time. And this is on all of them as you can see right here the highlights, mid-tones and the shadows. Now if you would like to understand how does the histogram works since we have just given the little information about it you can actually get full information on this one of my past videos a complete guide to histogram right here. Now heading straight to this icon you are seeing here. This doesn't need you to move a playhead in order to see the preview of the project that you are working on. But you can actually select this option right here and you will be able to see the preview of the project real quick. Now you can use B the simplest shortcut on your keyboard. So B to click it on and B to click it off. Here is the very last one my dear friend. This is the AI translation and it actually works as it sounds. Right here you select the language that your text is in and definitely right here you select the language that you want to translate into. Alright and after that my dear friend you can find out that right here is the final translated text which is actually correct. You can actually check it out with Google Translate. Now this is all in this video my dear friend if you like it help the channel by subscribing and you can check out my most excellent and recent video right here. Bye. <laughs>